Well, hello everybody from the Kenwood Town Center, where you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Literally. So Debbie's going to start with this report. Yes. Uh, we met up with a nice lady called Sophie, and her, her husband Eric isn't with her. She is separated Susie. temporary. That was Susie. Susie, yes. Uh, we prayed for a sound mind for Eric, her husband, and their marriage to be sound. Uh, what the Lord puts together is one, and the devil's trying to split them apart. So we pray that he will get the healing and sound mind he needs, and that God would bless their 29 years of marriage and keep that marriage going. Then uh, we saw a lady with a beautiful little boy, Danico is the child, and Jerry offered a blessing for the child. So we did a blessing over the child, and I prayed for the child's safety. Then we met a, a man in a store, but he did not want no part of it. So we just blessed him and dusted off our feet and walked on. And then we, uh, the phone store is located in the mall. And as we were walking through, there's a Muslim man in there. He allowed us to pray for him a blessing. Um, so that was wonderful. Well, we do, we do, we will say something about that though. He said he's lost a lot of customers because yes. they moved his location. So we prayed right then and there oh, that's that right. God would give angels, send angels out and help them find his new location. And yes. no, no sooner did we say amen, there was someone standing there. So God answers yes. prayer. <laughs> real quick, real quick. And then uh, we had a family, a Cheshire family, and um, they asked us to play for the child. Um, we ran into Chris and... Uh, oh, wait, back up to the two people that... Yes. Was, yeah, Chris. in the hotel. Oh, there was uh, another couple. That's the Chesia family. A mother, a daughter, and a little baby. And uh, they were priced out of their home. So they had to give it up and move. They were running a house. And now they're homeless, but the husband, God blessed him. He got the husband a job at a motel, and they get free room and board there. So that's at least a blessing for them temporary. But we prayed for God to open another door. And they took Bibles. And they did take Bibles. So hallelujah on that. Then we ran into two homeless men, Chris and Mike. And uh, brothers. Brothers, they're brothers, and they've been together 27 years. Uh, the ones told me, and they're pretty much homeless on the street. And um, I offered for them to get haircuts because they said they were looking for jobs, and you could tell they were just really in bad shape. And I felt that would give them a boost. Um, unfortunately, the mall we're in doesn't have a barber shop, so I just offered them uh, we gave them the money to go get the haircut the guy really wanted one so I leave that in God's hands uh, where that money goes uh, because I was led to do it but anyway we prayed for them that a door would open for good jobs for them that they'd be able to afford a place and a roof over their heads so that's so saw much Eden our Israeli friend today she's in the mall working I said a blessing for her and told her to stay close to Jesus Yes. She would. Oh man, amen. So, yes. uh, as usual, the mall is always an adventure. Yes. And I did want an adventure today. I did say to the Lord I was getting bored. <laughs> we had a ball sure, with them all. Am I sure? <laughs> he sure woke us up today. And there's usually a theme, and today I feel it was meeting the needs of those that don't even have shelter. So homelessness certainly seemed to be the thing today. And I think it's we're going to see it more and more. Yes, we are. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if sooner or later we see migrants um, hanging around here. Yes. So uh, keep praying people and, and keep being compassionate towards mm -hmm. people and telling them about Jesus. They all need Jesus. Yes. See you next week, hopefully. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.